Greetings, dear ones. You must be wondering what is this now, and whom am I representing right now while speaking? Because around my neck I've got a Rudraksha, which represents represents Hinduism. Behind me there is a cross, which represents again Christianity, and something on my head here that you see represents either Sikhism or Islam. So what am I actually trying to speak here? I'm just trying to put the whole tatwa into one, because you are often judged by what you wear and how you look. So if I take something off, it gives another outlook altogether. So it can, this this can just tell us like how strongly we are judging everything by our senses. Now what I am following, only I know. If I am following this, I will have this around me, and I will be doing all the practices that this represents. If I am practicing this, I will be doing all this, all that this religion represents, and of course, the Islam or Sikhism or whatever caste and religion that we are representing, we are bound to be followed by that. Now, what I am saying is. we are talking something about the param tatva something about non duality and something about the ultimate truth which is where from all these three or four or 10 or 20 things come it is a diversity of all that now somebody has held on to this and saying this is their truth somebody is saying this is their truth somebody is saying this is their truth but what is the ultimate truth that we are talking about it is the highest truth from where all these come from so in this non duality we are actually not denying any path we are not saying this is wrong this is wrong this is wrong we are saying this is also correct this is also correct and this is also correct now this is the only way that is correct we are not saying that because you cannot say this is the only thing what about these two things that are representation of that i cannot say this is the only thing what about the others i cannot say this is the only thing. what about the uh, rest of the things now that is how divinity how the supreme is has been diversified into by us human beings this is the same thing that happens whenever i go to different institution different places different uh, places of worship and different communities also amongst the houses of the people who follow multiple things i am again told ours is the best even this happens with all the people who are following their masters or the gurus in the guru parampara they say this lineage is the supreme my lineage is the supreme my master is the supreme that is absolutely fine on it whenever some aspirant says my master is god my heart just blows out because i can sense that yes his master is god i'm not saying is his god or my god no i'm saying is god because that is the tatva when we say guru brahma guru vishnu guru devo maheshwara guru sakshat para brahma tasmay shri gurave namaha so every aspirant is looking at their master at their guru as para brahma para brahma is a creator supreme creator that is the representation that they have because it is coming from that supreme into that master and coming into me so i see my master as a representation of that now it is god for me i am honored it is god for somebody else he is honored but now everybody has got their own way of looking into their masters their uh, ascended masters the supreme messiahs whom whomever they represent that god and they connect and they say this is our god even the messiahs the great prophets they came this is our god it is so much true it is the truth it is the ultimate truth with that person is experiencing the supreme through that and he is seeing that so that is the truth for that person if i am looking at something and representing that and i am saying this it is the truth 
so you can see as many people as many diversities that we are talking about everybody is seeing the truth they are seeing the ultimate truth through their representative the representative can be the messiah or the prophet or the master or the guru or the faith whatever they are representing they are seeing it and that is in their ultimatum that is in their ultimate truth we got to honor that because as i see my master as god as i see my religion as god somebody else is also seeing as god what is the harm in accepting that now i am not saying i am living my stuff and i'm going and i got to embrace just because we are acknowledging this is correct or this is correct or this is correct we are just honoring the same supreme in a different form and we are just appreciating and honoring and respecting that person for seeing the supreme divinity in that particular form isn't that beautiful devans it is a beautiful if you look at this truth because if i who am seeing the truth and say this is my god supreme but if i say this is the supreme and this is the only truth i disregard everything else as crap what i see now this is a little egoistic tendency where you are separated from that supremeness vastness and you have created your own theory or your own philosophy or your own community your own bounding your own followers of faith and you know religion or whatever and then you're saying this is supremacy there's nothing beyond this now if you are a person who is having an enlightening thought you will see greatness in that you will see greatness in this but you will never stick to one did you get this this is the point i always wanted to say i never belong to one religion nor will i go to any religion so i it doesn't matter what name i carry what form i carry what things i put around me or what i say or do what matters is the param tatva that is dwelling in me if i have the honor if i have the um, courage to accept and honor everybody as one seeing divinity in everything that's supremacy because then you will have no confusion at all it's it's pure and crystal here everything you are seeing is one there is no vivad there is no problem with anyone somebody is doing this okay fine that's great you enjoy somebody celebrating this in this manner great you go and be a part of it because you are seeing the supreme in that way because now you have no notion but if you are conditioned to just one thing you are always traumatic you will always push against this there will be repulsions and there will be aversions and there will be attachments some certain things then there will be all these kind of diversion and you are never at peace you are always threatened by someone else you are threatened by somebody's existence there is always a sense of insecurity lurking because you always want to prove supremacy and the moment somebody else comes you says no 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 not that this is supreme this is supreme and that person does the same and that is why all these clashes happen because everybody is out there to say i am supreme mine is supreme why can't we say ours is supreme so if you look at things in this direction i believe things will be just wonderful this is this this is the only thing that i have been following since childhood and this is what i'll i'm following and this is what i will follow because it gives me ultimate peace and it gives me the joy of embracing and learning and being with every masters every religions every faith every culture every tradition being a part of it like their family and that is why people embrace me very much in islam i've got a lot of friends they embrace me i love they love me i love them in christianity i've got a lot hinduism i've got a lot buddhism yes sikhism too many now that's the fun that i have and there is no problem anywhere and people also embrace you you also can embrace them this is how you live in peace and this is how you let others live in peace so i hope this this was just tingling in my mind i thought let me immediately put it out in the 
video here and hope this helps. Dear ones, if you practice this, you will have no issues at all. Everything will just settle down. Everything will just settle down. And all that you see will be love. You will only feel love for everything. Not just community based or people based, even the species, you, there will be no domination. You will never feel superior that I am a human being, you are a dog there, you are a snake there, you are an ant there. You will feel no, you also have equal right like me. Because you belong to that supreme, you are representing that. And I am representing that, I am connected to that, I am connected to this. The true form of Advaita. I don't know how, why it is so hard for people to understand this and why everybody wants to Thopify, you come here, you belong to this. This is our truth. You got to be here. No matter. If I belong, I'll belong to all. If I don't belong, I'll never be. That is why I always say, I belong to no one, but I yet I belong to all. I belong to everything, yet I belong to nothing. That's the secret of being in peace and enjoying the divinity. That's my spirituality. This is what I put in on the conscious dot space. God bless. Stay blessed.